So this is an x-ray uh, looking at the front of a patient. This is not the way a shoulder is supposed to look. The ligaments that normally would connect from this structure right here have been ruptured. That gap indicates a shoulder separation, a bad one. And Luthringer was playing around on a skateboard. And essentially hit a stone, flew through the air, and landed on my shoulder and did a roll out of it. And I instantaneously knew that I was injured pretty severely. Although it's called separated shoulder, in truth what actually happens at the AC joint is that it gets dislocated. So any time that a joint gets dislocated, by definition that means that the ligaments that hold bone to bone get torn or stretched. Those particular ligaments hold up the shoulder. One of the first things Ann noticed was a large lump at the end of his collarbone. Where my, my shoulder was sticking up probably three inches. That's visually a little bit confusing because it's not actually that the clavicle is sticking up. It's that the rest of the shoulder is drooping down. Mild cases will heal on their own. If the ligaments are severely damaged or destroyed, doctors may use surgery to lift the shoulder back into position. What we actually do is take a tendon graft and we, we loop it in the position where those ligaments that have been damaged once lived. Your body slowly but steadily uses the graft material as a scaffolding to build you a new ligament. It was um, amazing, quite frankly. Having a droopy shoulder put N off balance, causing knee and back pain. The donor ligament correcting his alignment took a weight off his shoulder. Your shoulder and the mechanics of the shoulder are actually 100% right after surgery. We're putting in a graft that's essentially four times stronger than the native ligaments. Following a brief recovery, N is all square once again. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.